Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. A lot of you have been asking me to do a video dedicated to showing you all of the different supplements that I am taking, so that's what we're doing today. Now let me just get that camera situated there. Well now my background's a mess. I'd say this is much better. For those of you who don't know, I have been dealing with chronic illness for a year and a few months now, and the best name for my illness is chronic fatigue syndrome, or ME, myalgic encephalomyelitis, or fibromyalgia, but really that just means I have a whole ton of crazy symptoms that are from different underlying issues that I am figuring out and treating. Now, there's a whole lot of things that I'm doing to help treat my chronic illness, and it's a long process, it's up and down, and it's been incredibly difficult in so many ways, but I believe I'm making some progress. And one of the things that I'm doing is supplementing. Now, just a disclaimer to throw this out here, I am definitely not a doctor or nutritionist or anything like that, and all the supplements that I take are specifically for my needs. They've either been recommended to me by my doctor or I've been like, hey, to my doctor, this looks like a good thing, can I take it? And then it's approved. So just because I'm taking it does not mean that you need to be taking it or anything like that. Secondly, a lot of people ask me if all the supplements I'm taking actually work or which ones work. I hope to kind of tell you a little bit about which ones that I've noticed a difference from. But overall, my doctor was just telling me looking at my blood work, my levels of inflammation have significantly decreased since I've been changing my diet quite a bit and I've been supplementing as well. Even though I'm not better, I don't have the energy, I'm not completely pain free anymore, I feel so much better when I'm taking these and whenever I'm eating the right way rather than when I'm not. I sleep better, my digestion is better, I have slight more energy <laughs> than I did before. Brain fog is better. It's not great, it's not where it needs to be, but I'm starting to notice improvements. Really, there's a lot of goals that I have for when I take supplements. I take certain ones for sleep because sleep is a big deal. I really wanna be sleeping well. I take some for inflammation, which is really important to decrease that. I take some for brain health. I take some for energy. I take some for my gut because gut is like your second brain. It's so important to get the gut healthy. And I believe whenever I get all these things in line, I'll be better set up to heal. Now, most of the supplements I'm taking right now is from a website called seekinghealth.com. My doctor recommended this to me, but also I've done a lot of research on it and they're formulated very well. I know I can trust them. And one of the best things about it, they have the best supplements I've found for people with the MTHFR genetic mutation. I've mentioned this before, I don't have time to get into all of it, but I have what's called the homozygous MTHFR mutation. I think it's a C776T variant, which basically is one of those underlying factors for my health issues and a lot of people have it. 40% of the population has one part of the mutation. I have two parts, which means it's worse for me. But there's different things in supplements, like for example, folic acid is in a lot of supplements, and I do not take folic acid because for me, folic acid can become toxic in my body and cause all kinds of problems. I have to take methylated folate, all kinds of things. You need to look it up, it's really interesting. But this company is really great for that. Now showing you. The first thing I take is this multivitamin. It is really great. I don't have time to go through all the ingredients because, and as you can maybe see, there are a ton of ingredients. The serving size in this is actually eight capsules. I take three at breakfast and three at lunch, and this is an incredible multivitamin. It hits so many different things. This is by far the best multivitamin that I have seen on the market. Multivitamins are pretty basic. You're getting just a whole bunch of nutrients all at once. <laughs> Multiple vital minerals. Do so you know that vitamin stands for vital minerals? This video is gonna take forever. Then just recently, I started taking these liver nutrients. It's got milk thistle extract and acetyl L-cysteine, taurine, something else I can't pronounce, and alpha lipoic acid. A lot of you probably know that I have had 
significant issues digesting high fat foods over the last few months. So I'm really working on treating my liver and my gallbladder so that I can start tolerating fats well again because fats are a very important part of your diet. I'm slowly working on increasing those, but your liver and your gallbladder, they really, you know, they are really one affects the other. So taking that for my liver. This one is not from Seeking Health, but I just got this one at my local health food store. It's from the Now brand. It's called Liver Oil. This is to get some more fat, some more omega-3s. And before I was taking a liquid version of this, and I really liked doing that, but because of my intolerance to high amounts of fats, I needed to take a capsule because it doesn't give me a bad reaction. So I'm a huge fan of finding some way to incorporate more omega-3s into your diet. It's really great for brain health. It's gonna help decrease inflammation. In today's society, we get way too much of omega-6 fats and we need more omega-3s. So supplementing is a great thing to do. My brain fog is much better when I take omega-3s. This supplement is called Homocystex Plus. And this is where I get my vitamin B6, my methylated folate, which I mentioned earlier. I get some B12 in there, um, also riboflavin. So I, I'd say this is one of the most important ones I take because I have to get that methylated folate because of my gene. B12 is very helpful for my energy levels. Next, I take this optimal curcumin. Another word for cur curcumin is turmeric. So this is basically a turmeric supplement. You guys have probably seen me cook with turmeric before. And the best thing about this is it's very anti-inflammatory. I have definitely noticed a difference since taking turmeric and also incorporating it in my diet. I love this one. It's called Optimal Vitamin D Drops from Seeking Health as well. And what's really cool about this is that this whole little bottle contains 900 drops and one drop is 2000 IU of vitamin D. Vitamin D helps with immunity, it may help your mood, it helps with energy levels, and that's just to name a few. Vitamin D is very important, so definitely get out in the sun, but also I supplement with this, and I take between like three to five drops per day. This is a new one I've been taking, it's called 5-HTP. This may help with your mood, your brain function, it will help in the production of melatonin, which is your sleep hormone, and it may also help with regulating a healthy appetite. Now for digestive support. I don't take these every day, but I take them as needed. This is just a daily digestive enzyme I got from Whole Foods. I take this sometimes if I have a salad, something that's harder to digest, and especially whenever I'm eating something with more fats. This has a lot of good nutrients in it, but one of them that really helps in absorbing and digesting fat is ox bile. So I recently got this. It's just a supplement of just straight up ox bile, and <laughs> I haven't actually tried it yet, but something I'm hoping to do soon, and it makes me nervous because the reaction I've had is really, really bad. I wanna try something like an egg that has more fat that I haven't been able to tolerate, and take it with some ox bile and see if I can not get sick from it. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I've talked about D-ribose powder. This, there's a lot of studies that say that D-ribose can help significantly people with chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia start having more energy. So I usually add a scoop of this to my water after my meal one or two times a day. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like for a while this is making a difference and then I had a flare, so now I don't know. But I'm gonna continue to believe that it's making a difference. I'm gonna keep using it, so. This is a new one I've been taking. It's the Optimal Electrolyte Powder. I have loved this stuff. <laughs> really, I love how it makes my water taste. It's berry flavored, but I also love the ingredients. It's got niacin, some magnesium, a little bit of sodium, which is this good sodium. I need more salt in my body. It's got potassium, a little bit of D-ribose. That's part of why I've kind of backed off the other D-ribose a little bit because there's some in here. Taurine and also creatine. Creatine is a really great supplement. It could be beneficial for anyone, whether or not you're lifting weights. So I take this for the purpose of helping me stay hydrated, helping me have a healthy fluid balance. So it should help support mitochondrial health, which is basically energy and it should help with like healthy muscle function and that kind of stuff too. And it tastes so yummy. It is very good, because it's, it's 
berry flavored. I realized I forgot about my probiotics. So I'll have to go back and get that in a moment. Another powder, I've showed this before. It's this natural calm magnesium powder. I take this at night to help with my sleep and it really, really does help. The serving size is two teaspoons. Right now I'm just doing one teaspoon and it's helped immensely. It also really helps move things along. Digestively speaking, it really does work. Like you don't need to take laxative or whatever. Magnesium works wonders. But yes, this is helpful for my sleep, so I usually just put a teaspoon of water. It tastes like, kind of tastes like Sprite because it gets a little fizzy and it's lemon flavored. This one is, so kind of tastes like Sprite, it's good. So that one's for sleep. My last two for sleep, optimal sleep. This one has some ashwagandha, which is great for stress. It's very relaxing, 5-HTP, a little bit of that. You saw I took that earlier. It's got some zinc, some vitamin B6, some niacin, something else I can't pronounce. I was taking melatonin before and I've stopped taking that. I think I was taking way too much. So slowly try to back away. My sleep has been improving. Then the last thing is GABA. GABA. Not to be confused with the kids TV show Yo GABA GABA. But I believe this is like a neurotransmitter. It stands for a gamma aminobutyric acid. And basically this helps with stress, relaxation, brain health, stuff healthy nervous system, all those good things. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, the thing that I take on a daily basis is my beautiful Probiota 12, which is my probiotic. This has 50 plus billion CFUs from 12 different species. If you're buying a probiotic, I know that more of the species is better between like 15 billion and 100 billion. This is 50 billion, so just a heads up. Probiotics are the good bacteria in your gut and so many people, their guts are imbalanced. They've got leaky gut syndrome. That's why they call our gut the second brain because so much of our health and our immune system is based in the gut. So this will help with immune health, with digestion. It can help with so many different health issues. So I think really most people should or could be taking a probiotic. I also get probiotics from drinking kombucha, eating sauerkraut, stuff like that. I love getting my probiotics in and they have helped immensely. I know this is a whole lot of information and this is just part of what I do for my health and my supplementing. I also use essential oils, which in my opinion is kind of like supplementing. There's a lot of different foods that I use. Like you may see, I use cacao powder and maca powder and different superfoods. Like, and I use bone broth and some people consider that a supplement. I do a lot of things to help support my body. I'm learning a whole lot and I'm gonna be better. Just you wait. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was interesting and helpful to someone. I really just decided to do this because so many of you asked. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. And if there's a kind of video you'd like to see next, please let me know because I like to do what you guys want to see. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd just like to invite you to consider it. It really helps support my channel and also you'll have better access to see my videos if that's what you like to do. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.